So in this part, we are going to talk about how to pass parameters to the classes and how to set the variables using the constructor. Okay, so we have been talking a lot about the class known as car and inside we have private dollar speed and private dollar let's say uh, engines okay engine and we have been talking about the functions that we have created out of the uh, and we have been talking about the functions that we have created to modify that but what if we want to start a car with a certain engine and with the speed set to do that we can utilize a function call as underscore underscore construct okay here we can pass the parameters that we want to assign so we can pass the dollar speed and dollar engine and we can then assign the internal variables dollar this underscore uh, sorry accessing the speed to the dollar speed that we have passed and we can assign dollar this engine to the dollar engine we have passed don't get confused by the same name for example this engine is same as this engine no it is not this is the one that you're going to pass uh, when you're going to create the object of the type car and these are the variables that will have the state of that car so let's take an example before that we can echo car with and let's say speed and engine is dollar engine so that we would know when the object is created whether the constructor is called or not let's create a car new car like this now we know we need to pass the parameters so let's pass the speed as 20 and engine as uh, let's say turbo okay and make it car 1 and then we can have dollar car 2 equal to new car is start with the speed of 10 and engine is non turbo this is just for example and not the best practice uh, and the best way of doing things but this will give you an idea about what a constructor is so now if I am to echo what is the speed let's say two getter functions so public function get speed okay which will return us as you remember dollar this speed do not return only dollar speed but use dollar underscore this and then the accessor and the speed so if I use to echo this dollar car one and the accessor speed sorry get speed and let me echo a break so that we have breaks between the lines okay and copy this and do the same with the car too okay and here also we can put echo breaks in here because uh, we are also outputting some things on the constructor so what is going to output is first the statement that is uh, uh, the car with the speed of 20 and the engine is turbo second one would be the car with the speed of 10 and engine would be non turbo then we are going to get the speeds using the methods okay let's run this file
so you can see the first statement is car with 20 and engine turbo the car the second statement is car with engine 10 and engine turbo and the first speed is 20 and the second speed is 10 so we have successfully used the constructor uh, of the class to pass on the parameters and assign the variables inside the class with the with the parameters that we have passed so that is the purpose of constructor it's important to understand because the next uh, video i'm going to talk about the extension of the classes like extending from the base class and their constructor is very important and there's one more thing called as the destructor since there has to be a destructor so uh, we are going to use a function called as destruct i do not know why my php editor is not showing it and in this destructor i will echo once again the whole thing so let's say destroying car object with dollar speed and dollar engine so after that this object will cease to exist so this will normally be invoked by the end of the script where you want to release the memory and uh, and when your script ends the destructor will be called automatically or if you decide to call an exit in between let's say here you want to close something then the destructor would be called it would save some memory for you and it may be a good practice uh, if you are creating a, a heavy php application let's see whether it works what is going to happen is that all these standard statements will be issued as per our example previously and in the end both these objects would be destroyed So I made the same mistake that I was talking about so I made the same mistake that I was talking about I gave a speed uh, directly I entered the speed directly using without using the dollar underscore this so that's why I received this error and these are all common errors just we have to correct them when we see the problem and uh, this should be replaced by dollar this um, let's check it out once again after saving and hopefully the errors are gone Exactly, so destroying car object with 10 and engine non turbo and then it is destroying the another car and that is the purpose of destructor uh, Function for the PHP object. I hope it's clear and in the next video. I'm going to talk about the inheritance and the extended uh, concepts of the PHP class Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends. Thanks. Bye-bye